Hello, my name is Larry Merck. I'm the GIMP Wizard. Today we're going to show you a nice new fractal art drawing, painting, creation, whatever you want to call it. Here's the beautiful fractal art image we're going to end up with. And I'm going to show you the pictures that I came up with using J Wildfire and that we edited to make this final picture. So, if we uh, take a look, hang on, that was our picture. And then if we go to here we've got GIMP our editor and here's our first picture that I came up with that I just thought was a beautiful fractal if you look toward the center it looks like a bottomless pit and actually all of these black holes are more or less bottomless pits this is just one of those things that you come up with fractals uh, that just uh, is a beautiful it's got these recurring pits and things that go on into infin infinity and uh, that's the beautiful thing about fractals it can draw it up in no time whereas a human would take forever to draw this they could not do it and so then I came up with another fractal using J Wildfire and it was this fractal which also looks like you're looking down into a pit so I thought I'd sort of use this as background for my other picture so I'm gonna drag the other picture on top because that's a picture I want to be in the foreground and so then the question was how to combine these two pictures so I'll just show you a little bit of what I was doing to play around with it and first I figured I'd just have the top one just change the mode and make it like screen mode and that would probably be beautiful but I don't know to me it looks like a mess when we do that so I said that's probably not so great so I put this back to normal mode and I said well maybe I could just change the opacity of this top layer and maybe that would end up working out beautifully and I said you know what that's no good either I don't like that because really this original picture I really just don't want to affect at all because it's so beautiful and I like the pastel colors I like how the pits work out so beautifully just look at this picture by itself I think could be a nice screensaver in and of itself so then uh, what I finally came up with is maybe just this center pit I would try to make see through so that we could see the this ripple design below it so in order to do that I figured we'd erase the black from the center there so we've got to grab a brush and I think I grabbed this hardness brush and we grab the eraser tool and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and erase the size of the brush is pretty small right now so we're gonna need it to be bigger and then what I did is I just want to point right at the middle here which would be around 965 let's see and then 540 so we got 960 540 that's about right right there and then if we just click you'll see we erased there but we want to erase more so I'm gonna use the right bracket key to enlarge the area that we're gonna erase so that maybe is too much somewhere somewhere around there now what I'm going to do is click the erase button and that didn't quite erase enough so I'm going to click it again because the outside edges are soft and that erases a little bit more and that's probably just about right but we can also see that this layer below isn't right in the center where we want it so the one more thing we've got to do is just move that so let's click on this layer and we'll do M for move and then let's grab that center point right there and we'll just try to drag that to let's see it was 960 and 540 so something like that and we just put it there and so then there you go we've got our final image and I think it uh, is pretty interesting as I say I'd imagine somebody could use it on their desktop or uh, wherever you could even uh, make a nice poster out of that so I think it came out pretty well and these are just nice images that I didn't really have to do a whole lot playing around with um, maybe one more thing is this is gold and I don't think it really matches the background very well so maybe before we end this we'll also just go to colors and we'll do colorize and then let's just uh, shift this toward a nice purple to match some of the background there there we go something along that lines okay 
Good enough. So there you go. With some nice, uh, simple J Wildfire fractals. We didn't have to do a whole lot, and we came up with, I think, a pretty nice little picture there. It looks like you're looking into an infinitely deep pit. Should be pretty interesting. Uh, I hope you like this. Share it with your friends. And as usual, please subscribe to me. That's uh, Gimp Wizard on YouTube. And if you go to LarryMerk.DeviantArt.com, you can see all my pictures. So have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.